go grocery shopping. You wanna sing the cleanup song? Let's do this haul. Wants to go grocery shopping. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get you some Cheerios. Yeah. You're gonna fit? Yay! You ready? Yeah. Okay. Mom's not ready. Okay. <laughs> All the way out. There you go. Let's get dressed. Ooh, okay. Here is the grocery shopping outfit. Let's go. I have to bring a backpack and I have two grocery shopping bags inside. Let's go grocery shopping. <laughs> So, we are fortunate enough to live very close to two grocery stores, Aldi and Attica. So, we're gonna go to both today and kind of do a mixed bag shopping. Trying to learn, you know, the different places to get my groceries and not have to necessarily do all my groceries at one place. It's convenient when you first arrive, obviously, but now I can diversify a little bit. Now we're gonna kind of walk back the way we came to Etika. And we're gonna finish off with our last shopping, which will be like a little bit less than what we got from here because Etika is like a little more pricey is from what the Germans have told me on TikTok in my comments. So really trying to only go there for like specialty things. And there we are, Etika. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. There you go. Love was such an easy game to play. And now I need a place to hide away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't say. I think they might. I said something wrong now. I won't for yesterday. Here's the shopping situation. Two bags and my backpack. And now we're gonna walk the 10 minutes back home and I'll do a proper grocery haul <laughs> with prices. Maybe prices on the screen. I don't know because I can't read the receipt because it's in German. <laughs> maybe a few days to the end of the week. I hate when all your avocados go ripe at the same time when you buy like a bag. It doesn't make sense. And then I got a vine of four tomatoes because I always have tomatoes in the fridge. You eat them with like everything, salad, breakfast, everything. I got this little carton of eggs and if you notice, they don't store their eggs in the fridge, it's just out. And then we have our meat. I got this huge thing of chicken 
And I know all the comments on my TikTok said to not buy chicken from the grocery stores and go to a butcher. But I haven't found a butcher nearby and Etika and Aldi are right next to each other. And there's no butcher within that like three minute walk radius of the two grocery stores. So I just, I can't. Maybe on a separate day, but still adjusting and I'm not there yet. Then we also got bacon, which is packaged so... I don't know, differently. And then we have some good old milk, which honestly, 1.5 liters, or not 1.5, how many liters is it? One liter is really not a lot for three people who drink milk. It ends up finishing fast. Oat milk for my coffee. I was getting Oatly when we were in Shanghai because it was like cheaper <laughs> and we had more budget. But now I need to find an alternative because Oatly is just, it's too pricey. And then we have some Ziploc bags. When I tell you, Finding Ziplocs has been the biggest issue for us. Not because they're not here, but because they don't actually zip. Ah, oh, see that, the slidey thing? The ones we bought the other day literally don't close. Like, let me show you. This is them. You take one and it's just an open bag. I got this for Charlotte. It says it's porridge. And I think it's more like boxed oatmeal. And that's what Charlotte really liked before. And it's also really easy to like make for her. Like. I'm not making overnight oats for my two and a half year old. It's like apple cinnamon flavored and I think it'll be good. It looks it looks very similar to like the Quaker Oats boxed oatmeal, which is great. Rounding it out, I got San Pellegrino. Pellegrino? Yeah. This one's grapefruit and this one is pomegranate orange. I think they'll be really yummy. Last but not least, we have cereal because what kind of American would I be if I was not needing multiple cereal options, okay? Uh, we have this like almond clusters, which very much reminds me of like Fiber One or Oatmeal Crisp, like their almond clusters, if you know those cereals. So Christian really likes this, Charlotte likes this, and I like this. And then we have Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but the minis, they don't have the regular size ones here. I wanna show you guys what the fridge now looks like after putting all the groceries away, throwing some stuff maybe that was like old or bad out, and now this is the fridge. So for context, it could be more full, but I'm just not capable of doing such a big grocery shopping. And it's like not the norm to like fill up your fridge until it's overflowing with stuff. There's our fridge. There's the little part I was talking about with the potatoes, onions, garlic. Here's the door. We have cheese at the top, the eggs, butter, more cheese. And then just those random door things, jams, sauces. And then our drinks at the bottom, the milk, some salad dressing. And then these are actually regular water, like tap water that we put in the bottle so that it can be cold because it's been really hot. And then over here, we have the vegetables I just bought. We have the tomatoes, peppers in there. We have the fruit level, blueberries, strawberries, grapes. Then this is like juices. There's bread. That's our leftovers and containers. And then this is the coldest part of the fridge because it's right under the freezer. So any drinks that I want to be like really cold, I'd put at the top here. Meats and stuff that I want defrosting or I'm gonna cook like same day, I put at the top here too until I'm ready to take it out. And yeah, and then the freezer, it's a little bit broken, but we have some frozen dumplings, some paratha and frozen corn. Okay, so that's the fridge. Like I said, it's not full. There's actually so much space in there, but there's no need for us to fill that space. I hope you enjoyed that grocery haul and I hope you liked seeing what grocery shopping here is like, what the grocery stores look like, the layout, the options. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what else you'd like to see or maybe some prices you were shocked at. Do you think it's cheaper to grocery shop here? I think it's a little bit cheaper, but we've only been here a week and like two days. <laughs> so, I'm gonna reserve judgment for maybe a month from now and see like really how much we've been spending on groceries. But so far, so good. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.